Will missile defense keep America safe? To protect the United States from long-range missiles carrying nuclear weapons, the military has deployed a system called ground-based mid-course defense. GMD is designed to protect against limited missile attacks from a country like North Korea. By the end of 2017, there will be 40 interceptors in Alaska and four in California. The system uses radar stations located around the world and in space to try to detect and track incoming ballistic missiles. Once a threat is detected, missile interceptors would be launched to collide with the missiles and destroy them before they reach the U.S. homeland. Simple in theory, right? But not so much in practice. Both the interceptors and targets move about 20 times faster than the speed of sound. So successfully intercepting a missile is like trying to hit a bullet with another bullet. That is exactly as hard as it sounds. Since the system was deployed in 2004, only 4 out of 10 tests have been fully successful, and 3 out of the last 5 tests have failed. That's not a good record. The tests are also highly scripted. The timing of the test and other information that no enemy would provide are known in advance. These test missiles even lack realistic countermeasures which are designed to fool the interceptor. But real missiles would have them. Even if GMD worked perfectly, it wouldn't necessarily make the United States safer. Ballistic missiles are cheaper and easier to build than missile interceptors. To overwhelm even a fully functional GMD system, our adversaries could just build more ballistic missiles. That's a recipe for a new arms race. Adding to the problem, the GMD program is really expensive. We've spent over $40 billion on it. Each interceptor costs around $90 million. That's a lot of money on an unproven system. Yet some lawmakers want to expand GMD, a move that will take money away from other defense programs and necessities. Before buying additional interceptors, Congress should ask two questions. Do they work? And do we need them? To learn more about GMD and other security issues, visit www.armscontrolcenter.org.